Well, it's nice and early. It's like 5.30 or 6 in the morning here. I just wanted to go sit out by the water, but wow, look at these fun flowers. And the birds started singing early. Yeah, this was my niece's house in Oahu on the North Shore. We had brought my dear 88-year-old mother to visit her posterity. And like I said, brought her to Hawaii. I know it's a tough gig, but, you know, somebody's got to do it. Yeah, and seriously, this was their backyard, right onto the beach. And this guy, all three of them. And this was the original video of when I met my friend Bertram. Wait for it. did not even see him there. Oh my gosh. He's walking down to the beach. And I almost stepped on him. Yep, okay. We're going away. I almost stepped on the seal. Well, good morning. It's Saturday morning. Beautiful weekend. Starting. Walking down to the beach here. And what do I see? Hello, Mr. Monk Seal. Just sitting here. Hanging out. He was here last night too, but I saw him swim away and I thought, Oh, maybe he's gone. Yeah, that. I almost walked right into him, thinking he was a rock. But, nope. And he sort of woke up and started snorting at me. There he is again. I guess he's waking up a little bit. I was looking at this coconut over here, thinking, oh, well, I'll just go. Oh, okay, yep. Snort away, then. Why don't you, Mr. Seal? I think I'll name him Bertram. This is Bertram the seal. I can see that he has a tag on him. He looks to be like 358 is his tag number. That's Bertram. Beautiful, beautiful morning. Looking over the uh, Halieva coast there. I think I could just sit here all day and listen to the ocean come in. You picked a good place, Bertram. I'm just saying. walking down saying oh good there's no monk seal i can go and yeah you see him no nope just keep going down he's a little around the corner he's 
I can see his back there. Keep going down. Okay, not too far. Okay, you're looking at him. Do you see him? Look to your right a little bit. By the piece of wood there, the wood. Look at the wood. Straight ahead on the beach, and then a little down to the right. You see him now? I almost stepped on him. <laughs> I mean, I didn't. I didn't really. I was about this far away, but yeah. Well, he was up closer to the beach over here by the big, larger big rock. And I walk on the rocks, and I was just about to jump down, and he turned his head and, and gurgled. Goes, at yeah, me. he and snorts it. at you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. This is from later the same day, same beach, but no Bertram. And now we switch over to Three Tables Beach, trying my underwater camera. Try to sneak out. Oh, no, <laughs> they went first. They did. Oh my goodness. They went down so fast. Wow. That's pretty. And our place is right over there. So Ashley, where are we? Oh, we're in Wahiwa. We're in Hawaii. Hawaii, real Hawaii oh, now. Hawaii. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, not much to look at over here though. Darn it. I was thinking there was some pretty stuff to look at. Oh, well, not the place yeah, that. not for that. No, yeah. that's too bad. I know. Wow. Look at this place. We ordered we ordered pizza for the group and and we got there a little too early. So what can we go see that's close? And I would have never known this place was here. But Google knew. Google. Thank you, Google. And it was expensive to get in here too. Wow, oh, free 99. Free. It was free 99 without the 99. <laughs> free. Holy smokes. That is really spectacular. Kualoa Regional Beach Park. It's right between Honolulu on Kamehameha Highway as you head up towards the Laie and the Polynesian Cultural Center. As you can see, it's right across from Chinaman's Hat. I don't know if they have a more culturally appropriate name, but that's what it's known as.
Anyways, it's quite a cool little beach place. A lot of families were here and they had their camping places all set up uh, and food and it looked like a real party. We talked with one of them and they said that yes, you have to get a permit to stay here, but you uh, have to apply for it quite a few weeks in advance of wanting to use that permit. But what a cool, cool beach to walk on. Me too. That's where we know. Kids just playing in the water. I guess you go over to that island. I see people over on the island there. I bet it's quite the uh, trip over. Yeah, there's right? The there's but there's snorkeling, there's... But it looks like it's calm enough that people are docking there. There's boats there. Yeah. Oh, I hadn't even thought of that. Of course you can. If it's flat enough. Right? That is... That is quite a setup. They got their little latrine there, even. That is like coral there. Uh -huh. Interesting sand here in Hawaii. Lava royal. Looks like a little more. Yeah, no rough. idea. A little bounce. It almost looked like a nut of yeah, some it sort. Does. But it's. No, I don't know what it is. I don't know either. There's a few of them. Oh, look at this wood coming in. That's some nice driftwood there. I think they're nuts. I've seen a few of them. Wow, this just keeps going. I wonder how long that wood's been there. I wonder what that is. Oh, that's a... Oh, that's a pipe of some sort. Yeah. There's a pipe there too. Drainage of some sort. So, they've got a protective barrier out there. Do you see it? Yeah. It's kind of a break. It's like a break so that you can swim in here a little bit better. Wow. They do have an ocean safety lifeguard. Beach? beach? No way. Yeah. That's an option? It was an option. Where are you going to stay? Hotel, person, person, person. You can beach. actually camp on the beach. Well, apparently. I never thought of that as an option. See, in some places, the beaches are publicly owned, so anybody can. So Randy was just saying when he was filling out his declaration report on the the airplane that you have to hand in to the steward as you leave well, it says where you're staying and of course you can check them out one of them is i'm camping on the beach and we're like i didn't realize you could put yeah i am just gonna camp on the beach but now i know you can actually apply for a permit and once you have that, I guess you can say that is where I'm going to stay. How cool is that? I I really had never thought of that, but when you're paying 500 a night sometimes in these places or more, hmm. Yeah. They just did. Right, that is part of the sand, huh? Excuse me.
So just in contrast, uh, here back in the Haleiva private beach behind my niece's house, you can see a lot more shells and the sand is a little more coarse. And the water is a way different color. Of course, it is time of day. But what a beautiful thing to wake up to every day. This is the beautiful water just off of Waikiki Beach on a little bit of a boat ride. They had us throw some fish food in and holy smokes, did they come quick. Yeah, it comes right back in your face. Come like almost like half a mile from your house. Right, yeah, yeah, the dog knows, yeah. Here he goes, we're gonna hit him, oh no. He's right here now. Oh, turtle, turtle. Oh, oh my goodness, there he is. Yep, do you see him? Oh, we're following him. <laughs> You're down in the water, coming up. Here he comes, right here, he's up. And I'll leave you with a few scenes from the Polynesian Cultural Center. This is Tonga. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the island kingdom of Tonga. Here in the island king of Tonga, they call me the master of the drum. And we call our drum Nafa. Everybody say Nafa. 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 My name is Similoni Feliki Tonga Awaya Kioa from Koronga. Junior, you said it. Junior, Junior will do. That's the set from Ha! Breath of Life, the evening show, which wasn't quite exciting enough for these littles. Ha! <laughs> <laughs>